You guys ready to get into posing for video? So I feel like, you know, we jumped over to photography because we thought it'd be easier and, you know, we thought it'd pay more and I don't know, some of those are true. Then we realized we can get paid more for video, so we jumped back over to video. But during this stint of us uh, doing photography, I learned a lot about posing. I got comfortable with directing the couple. So it was a really powerful tool to come back to video with those skills. Um, I think this is pretty short, but I want to have, I think I just have some quick tips on how to pose and direct, things that you can uh, direct your couples to do. Oh, am I supposed to point it? Does it matter where I point it? Okay. So uh, posing is all about focusing on the connection of the couple. Um, and I'm really just talking about uh, posing for couples, not the bride by herself. Uh, posing by yourself is, is totally different. If it was just going to be the bride by herself, um, a lot of times I just get her with her dress looking down or like playing with her veil or if she's um, at the window in bride prep, she'll just hold or, you know, there's a couple of different options. But um, this is really for, for couples. I don't even think to do it for single people like by themselves. But um, so all you need to think of is ways for the bride and groom to connect their hips, hands, and heads. Um, if you've ever directed a couple now kiss and they're both like, you know, it's like they're far apart, their hands are by their side, and you're like, oh my God, that looks awful. You're like, um, okay, well, thanks. You know, you don't want to tell them, hey, you looked awful. Um, but you just want to tell them to get in close, to grab each other, connect. Um, so the hips should be touching, the hands should be on each other, whether it's on their neck or their cheek, uh, around their waist. You know, she can hold his, his lapel. Uh, forehead to forehead is awesome, but be sure to tell a couple to close their eyes. There's nothing worse than them like, you can't see my eyes, but they're like this and they're cross-eyed and then they, and they just look, it looks really weird. Be careful about putting your hair over the mic. <clears throat> and so with forehead to forehead, um, and each of these poses, you have at least three different shots. You know, you have them doing, you know, front and center, you get the scene, you get over here, you can get in tight, get this angle, and then get this angle. So especially with forehead to forehead, you can get real close of her, her eyes are shut, and I tell them, well actually I get this, oh, I say it right here. So be sure to tell the couple to close their eyes, relax, and just enjoy the moment. So if they're forehead to forehead, and that you just tell them to relax and enjoy the moment, and they're literally, and you've already had them embraced, you know, you have time to get out your tighter lens, focus on the bride, and you can pan down a little bit, even on her hand, you get that ring shot, you know, because it's on him, and then you just come around and get him too. So you got, you should get at least three different shots with every pose. Um, so action shots. Kissing, kissing shots get old quick, so change it up by having the groom kiss the bride on the cheek, shoulder, neck, or hand. Um, I think back in the day, I think I used to have couples complain that they were kissing too much in the video, and I think I got kind of sick of it too, but um, it's still very sweet and romantic um, for kissing. Uh, just other parts, um, very nice shots. And those are also, like I said, action shots. Walking shots are best done when moving to different locations. Um, so ask the photographer to get behind you so they're not in your shot. And this is a great time, uh, great use of time instead of getting a walking shot during like posing. When you're done with your poses and done with that location, you're about to go over there. You're like, hey, let me get a shot of you guys walking. Yeah, be opportunistic, guys. Yeah. Uh, just because I mean, nobody's thinking about this. A lot of times, a photographer is just, just you know, like saying, "They just like help with the dress, and they grab their gear, right. and they all go over and there." You know, you don't uh, you don't want the planner in a shot. Sometimes the planner will try to grab the dress. If the planner tries to grab the dress, so the train uh, doesn't drag, just um, have the, the, the a lot of times just have the groom like, "Hey, help your bride with her dress," and you guys just go hand in hand or connect arms and just look at each other and just walk slowly. But again, I just want to stress: be opportunistic because a lot of time because. How many people here say they have problems with getting enough time for portraits? I would expect most hands to go up because it's usually <laughs> one of the number one complaints people have, not getting enough time, maybe the photographer stealing it all. The, 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 these are tricks or whatever to kind of like be, be able to maximize, be able to be more efficient with whatever time you have. Because there's often time, most times, there's all these little moments between when the photographer is working that you can actually get your shots in. Mm -hmm. Like they'll be changing lenses and you can kind of jump in there and be like, oh, you guys just look at each other real quick, just embrace. Um, and I have some like prompts that I'll go into and that might, might even be next. And also photog uh, some photographer's poses just don't work for video, especially when they're, they're looking like, at the camera at them. Or, you know? again? <laughs> 
Did it come un unplugged? My tummy is rumbling. I must. I guess my breakfast didn't Ryan, last. Ryan, where were in that one? What his computer? He told he told me last time about that. Oh, no, but just the um, the looking at the camera obviously doesn't work. But even even if the uh, couple's looking at the camera, what I'll do is I'll actually kind of get uh, get low and then just get a shot of like the bride holding the bouquet. Yeah, you, you know, need some, details during those times. Sometimes she's holding her bouquet out like this, and you can actually get in tight with a 50 or whatever and kind of waist down, just a shot of her holding the bouquet. And a lot you know, of times put there's a, like wind blowing her dress. Wind blowing her dress, get a little bit of movement, and that's just being able to be efficient with get, using the time that even you don't have. Um, <clears> but also sometimes they'll have them get in real close and like do a half kiss, or they'll and have them ki and kiss and hold it, you know, it's just... Sometimes, uh, sometimes a couple just does it because they think that's what's expected. Maybe they had an engagement session and are used to just kind of kissing and holding it. Um, just tips for the couple, tell them to act natural. Unless the photographer's telling them to kiss and hold, ask them to just like do things naturally. Remind them not to talk and- I have all this next. Okay. <laughs> um, so common props, prompts. So I tell them, so just close your eyes and snuggle for a moment. And so they just kind of get in and they like do whatever their version of snuggling is. Sometimes they hug, sometimes they, you know, they'll just get in close, they'll, they'll you know, whatever their version of snuggle is, it's usually a sweet moment. I say, lean in and smell her hair. So that's when they laugh, but he leans in. And so that like, just tell them to close their eyes. I always, I never have them look at my camera. I have them just look down. So if they're not looking at each other, they're just gonna be looking down and just enjoying the moment. So him smelling her hair is really just him leaning his forehead and they're just having like a quiet moment. Whisper in her ear. Usually she's like smiling or, or you know, laughing when he does that. Uh, kiss her or kiss her cheek and snuggle. So every single time I tell the groom to kiss her cheek, he kisses the cheek towards the camera and covers the bride. Now I, and then, so I let him do that because so kiss her cheek and he does that and I'm like now the other cheek because that's the one I want because I want to see the bride's face. And so that actually usually, usually makes them smile because like he did it wrong the first time. Um, so oops. Uh, what happened? I went backwards. Um, I thought I had another slide. Maybe it's after the video. Um, bring each other in close and just enjoy each other. And, it, and usually they know what that means. If they're not touching, you've got to tell them to touch. Wrap their hands around the waist. Wrap your arms around his neck. You know, just, you know. And so with women, you want to be conscious of their arms, too. Sometimes this isn't flattering. So if this isn't flattering for her arm, you can just bring it down here, and that'll be a lot better. Um, let's see. Feel free to move naturally. This is for video. So that's what he was talking about. They'll freeze a lot of times. So we'll have them, okay, do that again, but act natural. Like, we need the, the movement of the video. And the last one, no talking. That looks weird. Stop talking. You know, because they'll have, like, a conversation while they're, like, in their pose. Or, like, stop talking. And so I think I even have uh, a demonstration. So I'm actually going to show you guys, like, it's completely raw footage, but you hear me directing the couple or the, you know, whatever the scene is. Can I see one more thing real quick? Yeah. Uh, the whole thing, too, is that sometimes couples, another thing that you might want to interrupt them, uh, they have a tendency of resetting themselves. You know, some couples are like, okay, now look at each other, and great, thanks. And as soon as they're done, then they'll just, like, stoic yeah. face, look back towards, you know, the photographer or whatever, instruct them and say, hey, look, you know, Get lost in a moment, you know, just don't just look hold back it here. hold it for a little bit longer. Hold yeah. it longer, just, just enjoy each other, don't focus on us. So those are things that you can say to the couple to kind of help them engage with, with each other to get better shots. So, do you want to like pose for them? <laughs> <laughs> Not you, but like us, just like the connection. Sure. Okay, so come over here when you stand in front of the TV. So we're married, by the way. Yeah, so, so this is how they start off, because they were just looking at the camera for the photographer, and now it's your turn. And so I always, okay, face each other. It's always the first thing, because I, I don't really want them facing the camera. So face each other, and then they'll just do this. They'll get close. They'll just do this. <laughs> You're like, all right, put your hand, like, touch, embrace. When you tell them to embrace, an embrace will actually normally look natural. If it still does it, you can still direct, like, neck, cheek can be the other cheek. And then just get in close and close your eyes. Forehead to forehead is like this. And she can even, like, an, or here, look at me. Embrace John. <laughs> <laughs> so forehead to forehead. And then so you can actually say, now, bride, look at me. So she can actually look at you. Now close your eyes, bride. You know, so you have stuff like that. 
Um, you just really <laughs> smell the hair. That's the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that would be kind of a smell the hair pose, you know, because he's, he's right here. <laughs> so she's probably laughing because he's probably breathing in. That sounds really weird. I've never done that before. Um, and, and so it's like anything that's keeping people touching even here, you just want that connection, even if it's back to back. You just want anything where they're touching and cuddling almost. What would be wrong poses? <sighs> anything with space, anything with gaps. Uh, unless you're doing like a fun, like holding hands, you know. There'd have to be some sort of motion that you can't just freeze and hold hands. Um, a lot of times, you know, when we do action shots, I think I skipped one actually. Um, so I'll, when I want the motion, I'm like, okay, you guys, I'm going to actually get you doing an action shot. So I'm just going to have you guys walk up to each other and embrace the way you guys been, have been embracing. So I'll be like, just, and they'll be like, okay, and they'll be like this close. They'll be like, no, scoot up, scoot back, scoot back. I'm like, okay. Now I'll walk up to each other and just hold each other, like come in and embrace. And so we do, they walk and they just kind of do kind of what they've already been doing. And anything, like, anything they do that's close, as long as she's looking towards the camera, I guess. It's just having that movement, even if they're in a pose and she's like holding his lapel, you know, and then the movement up to the neck or he could go up to her neck. Like just having that, instead of just starting the shot with them in the pose, they can go into the pose um, for, while you're recording. So it's definitely something, like once you learn the prop, prompts, I think, you know, it's going to be a little, like you're, you're going to get comfortable with it over time. You're going to start seeing the shots in the camera. Um, but it's just about learning the basic connection points of the body and um, realizing what you're looking for. You'll start seeing it, and it'll be easy to ask for. Get what we can when the photographer's directing. And, if it's, and then if it's like that, um, then I'm like, hey, can we get in and get a shot? Is it, we, we don't want to like completely change their position or location when we want to do our thing. It's got to be real similar to what they're already in. You don't want to take them and move them over like 20 feet. You yeah. want to kind of use where they're currently at in respect to the photographer, so that way... Yeah, and usually the photographer picks good locations, too, so I mean, it's probably fine where they're at. Um, then hopefully if you have yeah. a second shooter, the second shooter is still filming while the, yeah. while the other shooter is and we're is both filming, filming portraits, so we're already getting two shots. He's wide, I'm tight, or yeah, actually it could be the other way around. And it, I'm going to be wide, and she'll probably switch between a medium and a tighter lens. Like, you know, she'll, she'll start maybe medium, but then she'll get a tighter lens and just kind of get, like, the really intimate... Yeah. Um, the connection between the two. So it's pretty quick when you have two shooters shooting different focal lengths. If you're solo shooting, though, you can just change your lens to say, hold it, looks so good, I just got to get a different angle. And Def they'll do it because they, they want to look good. Definitely so. recommend shooting that also in 60 frames because any usable footage you have is double. I, mean, I haven't got, one thing it never went over is, you know, the, the types of moments where we're shooting, we're definitely shooting 60 frames are going to be uh, preparation, preparation well, shots. Well, when the bride puts her dress on. Because that gets stressful, and you might only have snippets of peaceful-looking moments. <laughs> well, right, putting a dress on, maybe some of the other uh, moments too. You can also do sixty. I mean, yeah. That's Prep when I preparation usually. shots. Um, also, of the bride walking down the aisle and the groom having a reaction, I try to get in sixty. Introductions, I get in sixty. I also get the first dance entirely in sixty frames. Then I'll just sprinkle in some sixty frames, sixty frames in the dancing footage, and also the departure. Those are the, t the shots we would typically uh, slow down. We they don't always slow them down. It's just always. if we need to. We have that option. Sometimes, though, you'll only catch like two seconds of a great clip, but having that option to spread it out to four really makes a difference. And some couples are really uncomfortable in front of the camera. They would rather not be doing portraits, and so maybe we get less. We'll just get a couple, and we'll call it a day because we don't want to like stress them out. Um, so, Sometimes when it's really cold outside and they don't want to be outside or if it's really hot and they don't want their makeup to run, you might have a very reduced portrait session. I'm sure we've all experienced that. So let me show the video. So this is completely raw footage. It's going to be shaky. Or you're going to see like down what for a second. Like, uh, so I literally grabbed raw footage from different weddings of okay. posing. Uh, you'll see, I think it's the first clip. The, the photographer has an LED light. We're outside and she has an LED light that's warm. I'm like, can you cool that off a little bit? Like, I don't know what she was going for. She cooled it off a little bit to play nice, but in post, I'm going to have to reduce the orange saturation and see what I can do. It's going to look funky in the rough. I haven't edited it yet, so I don't even know how I'm going to do that. Um, I think she was going for like a sunset look. <laughs> I have no idea. Get real 
close, like snuggle under, under the umbrella, looking at, like forehead to forehead, eyes closed. Yeah, beautiful. And now mm. drop your bouquet. Beautiful. And Andrew, grab her cheek. Left cheek, yes. Yeah, kind of he grabbed her cheek weird. Bring her in for a kiss. Go ahead and bring her in for a kiss. Can you hurry up through or? Um, they were in my shot, they were in my shot. <laughs> Oh, you guys, it's so sweet. I love that. So I'm on a tight lens. This is John's people. camera. Okay, yeah. Wait, hold on. They were in my shot real quick. Just one. one. Yeah. Can we get a shot right here real quick before you guys put the light on again? Um, just you guys just look at each other. And actually go under one umbrella and drop the other umbrella. Just snuggle under one. Get close. Beautiful. You can go ahead and kiss. And this time, Grace, put your hand on his cheek and just kind of bring him in. Beautiful. <laughs> just snuggle one more time or kiss. Great. Beautiful. Forehead to forehead. Close your eyes. Love that. Uh, you guys, the wind looks good too. I love it. For a second, so Colin, you just take a step back and you guys come in for like a hug. So actually let go of hands and everything. And then take one more step back and then just kind of come in for a hug. So go ahead. Beautiful, and kiss or snuggle. Kiss her on the cheek, whisper in her ear. I'm like throwing them out. Beautiful. Like do something, do something. <laughs> Love it. For me. Super beautiful. So actually this one, the photographer is using her flash even though there's enough daylight and I talked to her about it. So I'm just letting you hear it. I mean, it's real subtle. You might be able to do it without flash. I know. I'm in. <laughs> Sorry. I'm at a hundred of those shutters. So I need blue like here. Yeah, I hate it. But the thing is, I had to keep in mind. So I, you know, at video, you can shoot at 50 shutter. You know, that lets a lot of light in. Photographers, to reduce shake, they have to have a higher shutter. So what, when you guys were laughing, I did tell her, I was like, you know, but I am at a lower shutter, so I was trying to be, you know, I understand if you can't go open up this wide, but she was able to do it, so, um, but yeah, just very subtly. Yeah, I think we have enough light. I don't think you need that. Go ahead and roll. And Rachel, can you bring your left hand up to his cheek? Like you're just kind of bringing him in. Go ahead, can you guys kiss? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, go ahead. Kiss, not kiss. We're, We're smiling. Kiss. Do you want to kind of them go in? Yeah, yeah. So bring your hand back up. We had to do it again in photography, by the way. Close, like you're about to so that is also just a demonstration. That perspective is a medium lens on the Ronin. So you don't have to always be wide on the Ronin. Or on a gimbal. Much better. Yeah, it was before. So Bailey, rotate just a little bit, yeah. right there, right, right. Le left, right there. Okay, there we go. It's right there. Wow. This reminds me of the time when Joey moved out of Chandler's apartment. Mm -hmm. Hang on, just smile. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Just need a good smile. So she was a talker, so I was always trying to have her stop talking. On that side, So I told please. her to smile. Lower. Yeah. Are you waiting for me? Mm hmm Oh, uh, well, do you need to let John let go? John yeah. let go then. Yeah. Well, maybe not that much, but oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. We're just John, thinking. can you pull it just a little bit, like not so tight? Perfect. So we're helping her out, okay? We're helping her out. Am I in your way? Just let me know. Here, y'all get it. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, can you guys actually look up at each other? Kiss. This shot only works when there's a lot of wind, by the way. Kiss her on the cheek, or the lips, the snuggling, closing your eyes. Woo, this pretend wind! Like, pretend like you like them. Oh, I love it. So I'm constantly giving positive feedback, and they're just into it. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm good. So I think that's it. I was going to mention the whole thing about.